Hi, we're going to look at how to assemble a Space Derby rocket. So here are the parts that should have come in your kit. You should have two halves of the body. You should have a tail dowel, this right here. You should have the hanger, that right there. There's the propeller, the nose cone. There's a that little thing there. Then there, there should be four elastic or rubber bands. There should be a uh, propeller wire and a red plastic tubing or straw that, that uh, goes over the wire. Plastic straw goes over the wire all the way over onto the eye of the wire, the circle of the wire. So that's what that should look like. And then the rubber band, you fit that through there and you should, you should be able to fit three. All the rockets will be powered by three rubber bands. So you, the bushing on the nose cone, a little like so. All right. For the propeller assembly, you're going to want to take the nose cone. You can see I'm putting my finger over top of the bushing so that it doesn't fall out. And I put the wire through there. So now we've got an assembly that looks like this. You, you might want to sand the propeller a little bit to make sure that there are no little burrs that will slow, slow the movement of the propeller down. Um, you can see that one side of the propeller at the point where the wire goes through is flat and one side is round. You, you want the round side closest to the bushing and the cone. Put the wire through there. Here's where you need some pliers. And you'll bend the wire back 180 degrees like so. Alright, see how the the next part is the body. So you take the two halves and you put them together. Notice the small hole. When, you, when you've got the two pieces together, it should make a small hole on one end and a large hole on the other end. All right, make sure that's correct. Now you're going to decide where you want to put your hanger. So some people might want it a little bit forward, a little bit back. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the two back ends and the front ends of the wood are lined up flat with each other. Then I'm going to make a mark on the wood on one side of the hanger and then on the other side of the hanger. And that's where I'm going to want my hanger to be eventually. And I'm going to cut out some of the wood to make a groove for the hanger to sit sit in there later. To make my groove I'm going to first cut crossways across the grain right where my pencil mark was. I'm going to shave some of that wood off to, between the two cross cuts. There it is. Okay. I just cut that off. This can be done with a paring knife from the kitchen. Alright, so you can see I've made those two notches. So when I put these two together, they make one notch that the hanger can be glued into. All right, a couple of grooves for the dowel. This is going to sit in right in between the two halves of this. And so I'm going to make two V-shaped notches, one on each side, just like that.
This wood is very soft. It's called balsa wood. You can see I made a notch there so that the dowel can just fit there and will not spin when the elastic bag band is around it. I don't know what kind of glue you want to use. Uh, regular Elmer's wood glue probably works fine. I'm going to put some crazy glue on this because I hope that it will be faster. Some people think that you should sand the inside of the rocket tube so that the rubber bands will turn easier. I don't know if that's true or not. Do it if you want. Don't do it if you don't want. Okay, cut away from me, which is towards the bottom of the screen. So if I want to cut into the wood, you see I can do that fairly easily. It's very soft wood. Once I've done some work on it, I might want to sand it down and make it smoother. I might, might want to make this totally perfectly round or maybe leave it square. It's completely up to you how you want your rocket to look. So I'd like a fin that's in this shape here. I'm going to make a slice in the wood where I want the fin to go. Part. Then I'm going to slide that fin into that groove. Just like that. All right. So once you've got your rocket shaped and your fins on how you want them, then you can paint However you want, you, you can do whatever you want to decorate the thing. Um, next, next thing is to glue in the hanger, the two sides of the wood together. Just put glue on the very end of this hanger. The way you want the hanger to, do, to be is that there's a button on the end there's a, where there's a rim. You want that to be at the back. That must be at the back of the rocket. Okay. What you'll do now with the propeller, you've got three rubber bands on there, the hole of the rocket. By the way, you do need to take note of which hole is where. This is the front end. The small hole is the front end. The big hole in the back where you've got the, the notches, that's the back end. So make sure you don't put, put your fins on backwards. Push the, the rubber bands through the, the hole. Push the nose cone into the hole. Do not glue this. If you glue it uh, and one of your rubber bands breaks, you won't be able to change it out. Then grab the rubber band, uh, the three rubber bands out of the, the big hole at the back. Then you put the dowel in the loops of the rubber bands, put the dowel in its grooves like that. Now you've got a rocket whose propeller can be wound up. And when you let go, it spins. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, good luck and call me if you have any questions.